All right, welcome back to the channel. Another crash. This is getting depressing. If you're new to this channel, we go over plane crashes, accidents, and we try to break it down from a firefighter's perspective. That's basically what we're doing. So it's another crash in Mexico that happened uh, today. And this is September. This was from September 14th, 2021. And so it would be a normal day. You know, we're at the airport, at the fire station. Planes go by. They land. They leave. So nothing out of the ordinary. And then, boom, we see the smoke crash. And that is called an alert three accident. So we would get in our bunker gear. We would respond with our trucks. So in the ARF industry, we have three different types of alerts. Alert one is going to be kind of like smoke in the cockpit. You know, maybe someone's like, oh, I smell something funny. Something's burning in the aircraft. Or maybe there's some kind of medical emergency. That would be an alert one. Alert two would be something more serious. Maybe, you know, hot breaks or maybe there's a hydraulic fuel leak. Something that could cause a crash. So we'd be standing by... Um, and a little bit more ready in that aspect. And then alert three is an actual accident. So if we hear alert three, alert three, we automatically in our heads know that, okay, that is a crash and there is an accident that happened. And then so here you get on scene, follow the smoke and we'll be, okay, now we have to get to work. So you would sign up, the, size up the situation, try to make a quick knockdown with, uh, with, our, with our turrets and then pull out hand lines, stay upwind, you don't want to be breathing smoke, and then try to make way to the to the aircraft, get the manifest. There was seven dead on this crash. And then you would kind of like take command of the scene. So you, if this was Brazil Road, we'd say, okay, we have Brazil command. Um, we have a working fire. There's a aircraft accident. And then you kind of paint the picture how big the fire is so that when you have mutual aid, other fire trucks that are responding, they can kind of get a picture of what they're coming into, you know, what they're facing as you're there. So you would put out that fire and then try to find out any kind of um, patient emergency um, information as far as that goes. And then so this is the aircraft. This is a Beechcraft uh, B200 GT. It's a King Air 250 turboprop. It crashed at 9 a.m. And it crashed at this Parakikaba airport or close to it. Looking from the video, it looked like it took off here from the runway. And then that first video we saw of the crash was from the college dorm room. And there's a college right there, the campus. So I believe it's somewhere in this field. It crashed somewhere along here, along these tree lines. Um, but yeah, sad seven deaths. And that's pretty much how we would respond to it. Hope you got something out of this video. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.